Hello, my name is Shatrugan and I work for BMC Remedy Force product. In this video, we'll talk about how to configure discovery in Remedy Force. The Remedy Force discovery features scan your network for devices such as computers, printers, and routers, etc. Operating system, hardware configuration, and software inventories information about discovered devices are stored in a Remedy Force CMDME. There are below steps which we use to enable discovery in Remedy Force. That is, enable discovery in BMC Dis Remedy Force. Request Remedy Force Discovery Server. Install in Scanner. Configure Scans. And configure Import. To start our demo, let's quickly log into the Remedy Force. First, go to the Remedy Force Administration tab, then Integration and the BMC Client Management Integration Set. Before enabling Discovery, we must ensure that we have disabled the BMC Client Management Integration. To verify this, make sure this checkbox is unchecked. And click on Save. Now to enable Discovery, let's quickly move to the Remedy Force Administration tab, then configure CMDB 2.0 and then select Discovery Setup and Configuration. Initially the page will be shown as read only. Now we need to check the checkbox enable BMC Remedy Force Discovery and click on save. Now click on the remote site settings by clicking it here to create a remote site. So in this case, remote site I have already created previously. So you can see here, these are the remote site settings. Now request for discovery server, you need to set up a unique user ID and password. Username will be auto populate. That is your org ID. Set a password and click on button uh, request discovery server. Uh, you can see the message, the discovery server is created successfully and the format of the page will be like this. Initially, the Remedy Force license and scanner entitlement will show blank. Now in my network, I have identified one scanner or device which will where we can install our scanner and the device is Windows Server 2008 R2 and 64 bit operating. Now based on the device type of the scanner, we will install the scanner on that device. So Windows 64 bit in my case. Once you click on Windows 64 bit in scanner, it will open this page. Put the credential and click on login. Once you click on login, it will start the download of the scanner. So for me, the download is completed and I will now try to install this scanner in my uh, network device. I would like to mention one point here that before installing any scanner, it will show a blank in the scanner entitlement section. Now I have installed my scanner in uh, one of my network devices. Once the installation of the scanner on the device is completed, go back to the Remedy Force. You can see now the agent or scan and scanner entitlement is having the values and the license details tab also having the values now. Now go to the scan configuration tab and you can see the scanner uh, will be visible here in the scanner detail sections. Now we need to configure uh, the scan. So just select the protocols as per your business requirement. For me, I have installed the scanner in a device with the operating system as Windows. So I need to give the credential for that Windows. Give the credential here. Please note the user should be belongs to the administration level group. Now go to the target list sections. So here you need to include the um, members like the IP address which you need to include or which you need to exclude. Click on save. 
schedule the scanning time like for any particular time or any recurrence now go to the import configuration tab and in the import configuration tab you need to select the classes for which you need to import the records in remit for cmdb so bmc computer system lan endpoint operating system processor and you need to uh, enable the job schedule time like for what is the frequency of running this job and click on start and now click on save so these are the steps to enable uh, discovery in Remedy 4. So I have already run the scanner and you can see the 15th of November is the last scan date and it's run successfully without any error. Now to verify this we can go to the CMDB tab and verify that the record is imported successfully. Search for the server name that is VWPUNCUS SP40. Yes, this is uh, uh, in inserted here successfully. And the, you can see the last modified date is 15th of November, operating system, and all the details are imported. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching this video.